My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball, and what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced, the insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top and then slowly coming down trace the line and do this in slow motion right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstisGolf.com if you have any questions. Now, so your arms are extended. There is no wrist cock there, right? No. All right. Just now, like this? Yes. Okay. And then at home, Ron, on the ship, in your quarters, I don't know wherever you are, just practice this. Play it with pressure. Are you Filipino? I am. I'm on my way, so that's why I want to show your name. Okay. You're like a Filipino. Months ago. Yeah. Okay. You were born here? I was born here. Yeah, I was born here. Same thing. Yes. All right, so you're going to start here, this arm straight, that arm straight. Okay. Let's go. Oh, so you want to get that up on this one like that. Okay. This should be a little bit. This is what I call the mission. This is what I call the mission. So, what are you going to do? This is hinging. Just so you can do it. Yeah, so this arm is actually going to start to bend. That's what it feels like to bend when you come into the ball. Okay. And centrifugal force. Okay. What does so, that mean? That means you're gonna the natural uncocking of the wrist will occur on the much later in the announcement. Okay. So I want you to do that motion. Now I'll give you a couple little extra drills to ensure I have a uh, compression board. Okay. Now you can use any kind of board. You don't need to use this particular board. You can actually have this now. Uh, okay. But you can just take uh, a towel uh -huh. and place it, fold it in half, put it on the ground like this. So this would be better if I demonstrate with a towel. Okay. If I said to you, Hit the ball with a towel approximately six inches behind there, and don't touch the towel. The only way you could do that to create a, a sharp angle of attack is to sustain the load. Right. Yeah. If you were to release, grip your club. I want to make some adjustments. Here. So that's new. So you just crease it at the right clavicle, the edge of the left thumb is done, and then the shaft, and then those two knuckles, you should be able to see. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put a couple of hand marks on the grip so that you can. It should be just this low down. Yeah, it could be a little bit higher up. Okay. If you're talking the ball, higher up would be good. Gotcha. I'll get this study.
Yeah. All right. So you got your grip. Keep your other hand. Put it on there. I don't want you to hit this very far. See, so you're just hitting this watch here. You're gonna. That's exactly.